blue twilight still yeah. there, you know, on the on the city buildings. Well, I hope the she's standing under something. I know we've had some heavy rain moving through. We have. You're not safe tonight if you're thinking, ah, it stopped raining. No, only for a few minutes. Just a break. And yeah. then more on the way. Yeah, that's really how it's going to be tonight and through tomorrow morning. Uh, let's take you all the way to the top of blue, Mount Hood Meadows, where right now it is 18 degrees. Look at all that snow there. This is really exciting stuff. Uh, we have some very giddy people in the newsroom because they are going to be heading to the mountain as soon as work is over with. Uh, and going over to the coast where we have showers on and off, heavy at times. Right now it's 48 degrees, Lincoln City, a very pretty picture there. Now, looking at Doppler radar, we have the snow reaching levels down to about 2,000 feet, possibly mixing into 1,500 feet. And we could watch the snow levels drop even further as we get into those overnight hours and early tomorrow morning. Pockets of heavier rain coming out from the west side of the metro outside of Portland, heading along Highway 26, and then moving out to the northeast. You'll see pockets of heavy rain coming through. Other times, you'll see some areas of light rain. So that's the way the rain is going to behave tonight under a very unsettled weather pattern at this point. Zooming in a little bit closer, we're seeing, again, some nice clearing right around Vancouver, but just to the west, and within a few minutes, Vancouver will once again be seeing some more rain coming through. And then we head down to Salem, where we see some light rain falling along I-5, and then the foothills continue to see that snow, again, dropping down to about 1,500, 2,000 feet. Now, there is a winter weather advisory that will go into effect, lasting through tomorrow afternoon for some of our foothill communities, which we'll show you here in just a second. How cold is it right now? Well, if we look at Lake Oswego, it's 42, West Lynn 39, Newburgh 38 degrees, and then we head out to Troutdale, it's 42, Washougal also 42, Camas 42, and Happy Valley 38. So that winter weather advisory, that's in effect all the way through tomorrow afternoon. It includes the South Washington, Northern Oregon, and Lane County Cascades until 4 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, above 2,000 feet, that's the area of concern because we could be accumulating snow anywhere from about 4 to 7 inches, but on the high end, possibly up to 10 inches. So keep that in mind through tomorrow morning if you are planning on heading up to the mountain. Uh, Timberline so far has picked up just in the last 24 hours 4 inches of snow. Now yesterday we were talking about almost a foot of snow, so things have kind of dwindled down a little bit, but it's going to ramp back up tomorrow morning. Meadows has picked up five inches, four inches ski bowl, bachelor six inches. So right now Mountain Meadows, closer to the base here, it's 23 degrees, nice and cold. That's the way we like to see it. Now those snow levels are going to be changing over the weekend as some warmer air starts to move in. We're going to watch those snow levels move up to about 5,000 to 6,000 feet by then. Highway 26, snow-covered road with a few fresh tracks going through. Government Camp Road there. Coastal forecast for tomorrow. Still a chance, some isolated thunderstorms, heavy rain at times. Daytime highs reaching the mid-40s. Inland valleys waking up to temperatures in the upper 30s. Again, not expecting any snow on the valley floor. It'll be for foothills above 1,000 feet. Daytime highs reaching the mid-40s. And then looking for your central Oregon temperatures. Bend waking up to the upper 20s. Afternoon high of 39 in the gorge, starting off in the mid to upper 30s and then ending up with temperatures in the low 40s. Government camp, a high of 29 to 30 degrees. Seven day forecast. It includes more rain. Yes, it does. Just different variations of it. Uh, so tomorrow, it's all about rain on the valley floor, snow could mix in nah, down to about a thousand feet possible at our coldest point in the morning but daytime high is only reaching 44 then we're looking at saturday saturday a little bit warmer up to 50. sunday sundays are a day where we're not only going to warm up but we get a little bit of a break from the rain which will be nice it'll be very nice so getting to the upper 50s on sunday could be pretty exciting it's going to be interesting we're going into our last week in january here but when you put the weather stats together for this january i have a feeling we're going to hit a few records as far as mm -hmm. mild weather goes for january it's incredible so yeah. far yeah right. thanks, thanks natasha, natasha.